Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 30th of April and a challenge Saturday. Oh, we've got a slipstream. Dang. <laughs> Limited slipstreams, that is. We are bringing in three off-world security officers while avoiding alarms. Oh boy, we're shaky. Oh boy, silenced. All right. Oh, that's useful for once. We've got a conk hammer that we can't bash dash with. We've got some nice crash beams. We've got five slipstreams that we can't use pathfinding with, so we'll have to limit their use. Let's go. Got shotguns. A lot of shotguns. That's good for me. That's good for me and my shaky hands. Target fleas doesn't matter. Defender, we can crash many sentry guns. Something to be wary of. That lets go. Uh, that was a bad angle. Oh well, four seconds. Uh, we'll live with it. So, slipstreams. We got five of them in total. Is there a place that we really want them? This is an annoying key to get to. Down here, we can get an automatic gun. That's pretty good, especially since our guns are silenced. We can also disable the alarm, but that requires going down and around. Uh, we have to go this way anyways to get the key, so I think that means we go up, down here, down here. Probably just use a slipstream at the beginning so we don't have to worry about the sentry gun. And then hopefully it runs out when we're heading down here and we can just get flung all the way down. I guess I can use a crash beam to help with the sentry gun a little bit, but I will. Okay, yeah, this will this should be perfect. Head down here, go boop. Give you a silent shot. And then make our way, and then the slipstream will run out. Slipstreams run out, so we'll use this moment to get the pod moving while we get flung down. And then we crash you. You don't have to worry about the pilot setting off the alarm. Why is the mouse delayed again? Don't delay the mouse on me, please. Okay, I'll start walking up here. Uh, go back to this and refresh this. Okay. And so now I can give you a smash. And then we've got some good guns. All right. Remote this, get it moving back. I completely missed that there's a jammer going about. Hopefully they don't walk somewhere where they can set off the alarm. Yeah, activate. Okay, they're going off in a different direction. So we're fine there. I'm gonna crash you because I can. And we go boop. I'll let you just walk down here a bit. While I get an acid trap, I'm pretty sure that's completely useless. More or less completely useless. Hi. Boop. Pick you up, drop you. A swapper that we can't use to swap in on ship. Two. And they were caught. All right. 13 seconds. Very nice. All right. Emergency shields. That is scary. 
I'm glad that we have a whole lot of guns. Autopilot, target flees, jammer gates. Okay, jammer gates. Oof, that makes flip streams even worse. Okay. Might be able to get some good use out of the swapper. Off world ships are. Wait. We're gonna. Apparently, I didn't have auto zoom. Off world ships, I think, are the best when it comes to visitors and swappers. As far as like bypassing large bits of the ship. On average. Eh. Ah, oh, five. That's fine. Um. I think we. Slipstream, steal, fling ourselves down here, maybe swap with you. And then we can get out this window. I think I like that. I'm gonna walk down a little bit to start with to make sure that I've got enough of slipstream. And hope that they don't shoot. If they do shoot, uh, I guess we can crash them. We could preemptively crash them, actually. Uh, I want to save the crash beams. Okay, slipstream. Here we go. Steal. And then get going down. Perfect. Then we don't have to worry about that key. I'll try to keep an eye on myself. While I get this moving, okay. Let's see, Swapper, Swapper's in a good spot. Uh, I don't think we're going for this crate anyways. Should we go for that crate? We've got some good equipment. We'll probably be fine. So, swap with you. Mm, yeah. We'll swap with you. Shotgun you. Hopefully we hit. And then we can use the hammer to get out of the flinging ourselves and psych. Oh, that's some good shit. All right, pick you up. Toss you. That is some good equipment right there. All right. We can now do a shot and get out of there. Very nice. Very nice ships one and two. And you do quite a bit with just the one slipstream on each. Quite happy. Okay. Shields everywhere. Heat sensors. That's scary. We have a few ways of bypassing those. It's the swapper, sidewinder, and a couple crashes to spare. Okay, we've got a long ship. This, this should be enough to at least let us get to the pilot. 
assuming it isn't autopilot. I don't read the mission description. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's too cautious of an approach. Not amazing docks today, but not the absolute worst. Okay, this looks like a decent swap. Can run in, swap, run down here, grab the key, and then they should see me and I get the key, no alarms going off. Um, this is also a good swap, though less good than this one. The main thing here is I would need to run down here to get your key. Can I get through here without the alarm going off? I, I could go through here without the alarm going off, but then going up through here would be annoying, so... Eh. Alright, so yeah, I'll go down here, get this, crash you. If they shoot, then I can grab this key and then do sidewind, sidewind, take out the pilot. Tracker can be crashed. And then I think I need to take out the pilot anyways to get the target out through this fuel barrel I'm not I'm not taking them all the way down here okay so activate slipstream I'm gonna put that there so I can see what its charge is at run down here get the right angle for this What? Oh, I left the vision by just a tiny bit. Alright, we can crash you. Please get through this door. Alright, perfect. And I didn't keep up the speed, so I didn't get flung. Whoops. Okay. I had another swapper. But oh well. Second slipstream, let's go. Okay, idea. I'm gonna head down here. Go. Boop. Did that boop so that it slows me down instantly so that I can immediately start going up again. They're gonna shoot, I'm sure. I didn't grab the key. I didn't grab the key. Let's use the automatic one. Okay, so I could crash them. But I think I'm at the stage of my plan where I just want to use two Sidewinders to get to you. Okay, I'll just keep an eye I 
was hoping I could get closer to the door, but no, oh well. E carrier moved. Okay, so then we can just walk over here, intrude. Oh shit. Do I need to use another sidewinder here? Hmm, wishing that I crash them right about now. Is there another place that I need to use a sidewinder? Sidewinder would be good to get back out of here. Would be good to get from here to here. Especially with the tracker. It would be just generally useful. But is it more useful than avoiding the alarm? So we're gonna go... Oop. How much time did we have? <laughs> so yeah, not using the Sidewinder there may have cost us the mission, so I'm glad I did. Okay, we'll just have to use the crash beam on the tracker. We've got this crate right here, but it's awkward to get to. That shotgun's gonna knock out this window, I'm sure. Yeah, we're just gonna have to crash you. And then we're walking most of the rest of the way, so I guess this will recharge. Remind me to... Let's see, where do we wanna... You've got a shotgun. That makes this a good time to use the slipstream. This is gonna be annoying. All right, but whatever. Remind me to set the time back. Oh, you, okay. You were part of the reason why I was gonna use the slipstream as well, but uh, well, you can do that if you want, I suppose. All right, and we have to grab your gun to get out of here. That's true, so I couldn't have used the Sidewinder to get past you. Love slipstream. <laughs> slipstream automatic guns. Okay. How to get your key without getting shot? We'll see. I have a shotgun after all. Don't have to worry about the alarm, that's the biggest thing. I probably should have actually shot out one of these windows as a checkpoint for if or when I get shot. If I get past this, I'll try to remember to shoot this one. I could also blow up one of these fuels. Let's see, I'm out of things that speed me up. This shotgun is an issue. Okay, you're going that way. All right, I'm gonna do something crazy. It's probably not... Uh... We'll see if this works. I can dodge yours, I believe. Now, the question is, will yours bounce off one of them bounced off. That's not going to be enough, is it? That's not going to be enough. I 
knew it was reckless. I knew it was reckless. All right. <laughs> Long ship. Good news is, we can't fail. I think we literally can't fail. The only way we could fail is if we blow ourselves up with a fuel barrel and then not catch us. Catch ourselves. The alarm can't go off. Uh, no one has a lethal gun except for me. You know, at this point, do I just go back and get... Do I recharge these? That's not against the rules. It's not against my rules. We've already taken forever long. Although that forever long does mean that we're more likely to be competing for first place now. This was a difficult one to begin with, so I don't know how many people got perfect style bonuses. If I go back to something that I don't know, if I go back to base now that it's after 5 p.m., would that screw things up? I don't know. I do really wish I'd shot it. Thought to purposefully shoot out those windows. Should have done that. Um. We are out of slipstreams. These sidewinders are very useful. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go back to base. Just in case. I am gonna turn back time by some time. Okay, this is the first time I've gone back to base to recharge my stuff in a very long time. I did think briefly about whether or not going back to base to recharge breaks the spirit of the challenge Saturday, but I think it's, it's fairly well it's, it's fairly common knowledge that you can go back to base in the middle of a mission. Boy, you didn't give me auto zoom. Okay. Mm So, Sidewinder here is pretty alright. Let's me avoid that group. Then I can avoid that group. I can avoid that group. I can avoid all those groups. Save some time here. Grab this key. Maybe use one or two here. And then crash you guys. Yeah, I think this is the most important part to use the Sidewinder on. It, it removes multiple heat sensor shotgunners. Did I have any crash beams when I got shot? I don't think I did. This just avoids time. Got two sidewinders left. Do I am feeling like I need to sidewind and sidewind out. 
and then probably shoot this swap with you that's what i'm thinking let's walk this way get the pod in relatively decent position it's gonna drift off though Boom. all right y'all can shoot at me that's fine All right, we now have our backup. Oh, the key carrier went to a better spot for me. That's quite nice of you. A lot nicer than that previous key carrier who shot me. Uh, looks out of shooting range of the sentry. Get you crashed and shot. There we go. Probably sidewind up here. Where's that pod? That's in this all right spot. Okay. We can now. That a shot. Get out of the way. How does... Why did they instantly go to... Setting off the alarm. Despite having not seen me. Oh. Weird behavior. I'm not sure how this thing works. Will that pull them out if they're standing right here? I'm curious. I'm gonna try and get a defender. Nope. I screwed that up. It's fine. Should have used that one to start with. <laughs> All right, swap with you. Let's go with crash beam. Hi. Cool. Oh, what do you have? Concussive grenade launcher. Interesting. All right, pick you up, head out. Crazy how much stronger the high velocity rifle is compared to the shotgun. I think a super shotgun is a bit more comparable with it. All right, that took forever. But we technically did it. No style punishment, punishment, penalty. And that's the most important part. I was playing pretty loose there at the end. And, I wasn't so concerned with not gotta go fast, fast, fasting. I probably should have waited for the crash beam to recharge. Yeah, I was out of teleporters at the point. Yeah, I think the crash beam and then I would have just been able to avoid getting shot by the shotgun by taking out the person with the shotgun. I think that would have been the best move. In the end, that would have saved me a lot of time. I got second. Umbretto taking the first place. Very good job. Yeah, no matter how much time saving I did there in the end. Or how much time I would have taken. Oh, if I'd taken much more time, I would have been in third. So yeah, there's some tight competing here. So yes, I'm guessing Humbretto did not get shot. Good job to Humbretto. Very nice job.
And yeah, so that is today's. Let's look at yes. All right, yesterday's. Uh, you can look at uh yesterday's for yesterday's. I did come in first, I believe. This was a weekday, right? So it's Friday is a weekend, but it was a week day, and that's why that was slow. I remember yesterday being fun. Can't remember what it was, but I remember it being fun. All right, well, that's the challenge Saturday. Things would have been very different if it were not a challenge Saturday. I could have used one slipstream to go through the entirety of ship three without too much trouble at all. That's the biggest thing. That was by far the biggest thing. If I had just not gotten shot, if I was just patient and used a crash beam there, I think it all would have been... That, that almost certain... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that last mission took over two minutes. So... If I were more careful with that, that certainly would have left me in the lead. But, yeah. The, the most important thing is... We did not lose completely. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Jeez, 31 minutes. Thank you for watching. More like 32. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's, and I hope to see you tomorrow.